Welcome. Welcome to the Living Theater's reading of the Moon Poem by Judith Molina. This is produced by Shishama and Anita Durst. We're very grateful for the invitation to be here at Anita's Way. But Judith Molina, who is now 88 and sitting right here, has written a line of poetic narrative on every full moon since July of 1964, up until the last full moon this past month. It is a narrative and a poetic inspiration of her life in art and with the living theater over 50 years. And we are now with 12 members of the living theater, or 13 or 14, uh, we are now going to read the full moon poem. It will take a while. Feel free to come and go or not. And we'll see what happens. This is the world premiere and you are here. 1964. At the full moon in July, we arrived in Paris and went to an Arab cafe. At the full moon in August, Mark Duffy went mad in London, and Steve was hit by a truck while marching in the streets. At the full moon in September, we gathered in a cellar in London and spoke for the first time of Frankenstein. At the full moon in October, we rehearsed the mysteries in Paris. At the full moon in November, we played the brig in Berlin for millions on television. At the full moon in December, I was in jail in Passaic, New Jersey for contempt of court. 1965, at the full moon in January, I visited Julian in jail in Danbury, Connecticut. At the full moon in February, we played the mysteries in the Carre Circus in Amsterdam. At the full moon in March, we played the brig in Turin. At the full moon in April, we played the mysteries in Rome. At the full moon in May, we performed the brig in Naples. At the full moon in June, Gary was sick in Paris. At the full moon in July, we had a Chinese dinner with Elsa Marante in Berlin. At the full moon in August, we completed the structure for Frankenstein in Berlin. At the full moon in September, we were rehearsing Frankenstein desperately in Berlin. At the full moon in October, we returned from Venice to Berlin. At the full moon in November, we played the maids and the mysteries at the Intercontinental in Frankfurt. At the full moon in December, we traveled from Malmö to Jöterberg. 1966. At the full moon in January, we arrived in Bologna. At the full moon in February, we played the mysteries in the Palazzo Dorini in Milano twice in a day. At the full moon in March, we traveled from Catania to Syracuse, where we saw the Greek theater by moonlight. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in a hotel room in Banja Luka, Yugoslavia, after performing the mysteries. At the full moon in May, we played the brig in Parma. At the full moon in June, we were rehearsing Frankenstein in Reggio Emilia. At the full moon in July, we were returning from the Theater of Nations in Paris, over the Alps, back to Italy. At the full moon in August, we opened Frankenstein in Reggio Emilia. At the full moon in September, we played Frankenstein in Berlin. At the full moon in October, we played the mysteries in Venice and staged Las Mian juggernauts for Antigone. At the full moon in November, we played the mysteries in Amsterdam and rehearsed the entrance of Antigone with Polynikis. At the full moon in December, we played the mysteries in Amsterdam and rehearsed the faces of the people for Antigone. 1967. At the full moon in January, we staged the prologue for Antigone in Krefeld. At the full moon in February, we played Antigone in Dinslaken. 
At the full moon in March, we rehearsed the Bacchus dances in Perugia in the freezing palazzo. At the full moon in April, Julian flew to Morocco and we played the maids at the Palazzo Dorini in Milano. At the full moon in May, we played Frankenstein in Naples. At the full moon in June, most of the company traveled to Rome uh, to make a movie. At the full moon in July, I was in the American hospital in Paris with Isha Mana, two days old. At the full moon in August, we walked with Gary in the Latin Quarter and visited the Orangerie in Paris, where we were rehearsing Frankenstein. At the full moon in September, we performed the Mysteries in Paris and moved from Isha's birthplace on the Rue Troyon. On the full moon of October, we performed Antigone in Brussels. At the full moon in November, we performed Busotti's opera Passion According to the Sad and quelled a riot on stage with a city in Bordeaux. At the full moon in December, we performed Antigone in Paris. 1968. At the full moon in January, we performed Antigone in Lucerne and rehearsed a new staging of the messenger scene. At the full moon in February, we were settling into Cefalu, Sicily, preparing to rehearse Paradise Now. At the full moon in March, we were rehearsing Paradise Now in Cefalu, and Julian made a lecture on John Cage. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in Cefalu and rehearsed the totem pole for Paradise Now. At the full moon in May, we visited the cathedrals of Tours and Chartres and arrived in Paris at midnight at the start of a general strike. At the full moon in June, we worked on the staging of the rites for paradise now <coughs> in the garden of the palace of the popes of Avignon. At the full moon in July, we held our first rehearsal on the stage of the cloister of Camelite in Avignon and, re and read the text of the actions. At the full moon in August, we worked on the actions for Paradise Now in the garden of Voltaire's house in Geneva. At the full moon in September, we were on the MS Aurelia holding a meeting on conscientious objectors. At the full moon in October, we played Frankenstein in Brooklyn. At the full moon in November, we played Paradise Now at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for which we were bound, and attended an anti-election rally on Boston Green. At the full moon in December, we played the Mysteries at Denison State Stage College in Granville, Ohio. 1969, at the full moon in January, we played the Mysteries at Hunter College in New York City. At the full moon in February, we played the Mysteries at Hayes College in Hayes, Kansas. At the full moon in March, we arrived in San Francisco, moved into Ferlinghetti's office, and took part in the occupation of the Straight Theater. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in Mid-Atlantic on the MS Europa. At the full moon in May, we were in Grenoble, worrying about a warrant for offending morals brought against the mysteries from Besançon. On the blue moon in May, we played Paradise Now in the Sept Etienne on Julian's 44th birthday. At the full moon in June, we traveled from London to Paris en route to Morocco. At the full moon in July, we traveled from Azora to Wazazet at the age of Sahara, where Isha was sick. At the full moon in August, we were at Essaoira, finishing the text of Paradise Now, beginning the text of the Mysteries. At the full moon in September, we were in Taormina, rehearsing Antigone in the Teatro Antico and planning the new work. At the full moon in October, I was in Paris for lunch with Jean-Jacques Lebel and took up the night train to Milan where the company played the Mysteries in the circus. 
At the full moon in November, I was in Rome waiting for Carl to arrive while the company played the mysteries in Urbino, Italy. At the full moon in December, we played Paradise Now in Brussels. 1970, at the full moon in January, we had an action cell meeting in Pierre Clemente's house in Quasi planning new work. At the full moon in February, we had an action cell meeting in Pierre Clemente's house in Quasi, planning new work and debating the ideologies of revolution and violence. At the full moon in March, we were still working in Quasi, making plans for South America and a film. At the full moon in April, we were still at work in Quasi, desperate and sick with the flu. At the full moon in May, we were still working in Quasi. At the full moon in June, we were still in Quasi, screaming to get out. At the full moon in July, we were trying to get to Brazil, still in Paris. We made a tape about community and shop for Isha's third birthday. At the full moon in August, we were in Sao Paulo, learning about the Brazilian reality. At the full moon in September, we were in Rio de Janeiro, working on themes, locations, and techniques for the new work. At the full moon in October, we were in Rio talking about making a movie and studying masochism. At the full moon in November, we were in Rio where La Passade and Ida talked of death and I was suffering and we rehearsed possible rights. At the full moon in December, we were in Sao Paulo preparing the first favela play, taping The Favela Speaks. 1971, at the full moon in January, we were resting in Sao Paulo from favela play number two on the anniversary of the living's last performance in Berlin. At the full moon in February, we arrived in Montevideo and met with the Comunidad del Sur. At the full moon in March, we were in Auro Preto, working on the legacy of Cain. At the full moon in April, we celebrated a sad Seder in Uro Preto, grieving for Jenny Hecht. At the full moon in May, we were rehearsing school project number one with the children of Saramenia School. At the full moon in June, we were in Uru Preto, rehearsing the direct actions course and the factory play for the legacy of Cain. At the full moon in July, we were in prison in Belo Horizonte Dops, and Julian's mother came to take Isha out of Brazil. At the full moon in August, we were in Dops prison in Belo Horizonte, preparing our trial. At the full moon in September, we arrived in New York, exposed by the president of Brazil, and met Carl Einhorn, and I made love on a roof with Abby Hoffman. At the full moon in October, we were in Oregon at the Rainbow Family Farm with Garrick, Isha, Eden Starr, making a Brazilian diorama for Yoga Ono's water show. At the full moon in November, we were in a motel in Oregon, working on the enormous despair and the life of the theater. At the full moon in December, we were in San Francisco talking at the City Lights bookstore about theater and revolution. 1972, at the full moon in January, we were in New York City at a company meeting planning new work. At the full moon in February, we were on a college lecture tour, traveling from Macomb University at Ann Arbor to the Rainbow People's Party. At the full moon in March, we went to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania to rally at a protest of the Berrigan's imprisonment before the Seder at Franklin's and Shirley's. At the full moon in April, we were in Brooklyn working on literature and attending anti-war demonstrations. At the full moon in May, we went to Philadelphia to visit Ira Einhorn. At the full moon in June, we were, we were in Brooklyn working on the legacy of Cain. At the full moon in July, we were in Brooklyn 
working on the legacy of Cain, and Paolo Augusto came to visit. At the full moon in August, we flew from San Francisco to New York. At the full moon in September, we were in Brooklyn, working on the legacy of Cain. In the full moon, at the full moon in October, we attended the Paul Goodman Memorial at the Unitarian Church and went to an IWW meeting, a UCLA reception, and spent the whole night at WPLJ talking about South American prisons and the review of the enormous despair appeared in the New York Times. At the full moon in November, we were rehearsing the legacy of Cain in Brooklyn. At the full moon in December, we demonstrated in front of Rockefeller's office on the anniversary of the Attica massacre. 1973, at the full moon in January, we rehearsed the subway Stop the War piece at Brooklyn Academy. At the full moon in February, we were rehearsing the legacy of Cain in Brooklyn. At the full moon in March, we rehearsed the seven meditations in Brooklyn on Purim. At the full moon in April, we had a Seder with the company in Brooklyn House working on the tower. At the full moon in May, we rehearsed the seven meditations, watched Watergate on television, and celebrated Garrick's 24th birthday. At the full moon in June, we made the tower chart, began building the tower platforms, and went to an anarchist meeting. At the full moon in July, we went to see The Tooth of Crime and ate dinner with Schechner and McIntosh. At the full moon in August, we were rehearsing the Strike Support Auditorium in Brooklyn. At the full moon in September, we prepared to demonstrate against the coup in Chile, and I tripped with Reznikov. At the full moon in October, we performed the Chile protest piece on the street, and I spoke at USLA rally, at a USLA rally to, at, at Columbia. At the full moon in November, we played two benefit performances of the seven meditations at the Peace Church. At the full moon in December, we rehearsed the liberation movement at the Brooklyn Academy. 1974, at the full moon in January, we worked in a joy cell on the tower against friction in the company. At the full moon in February, we worked on the micro opera of class identification for the tower with Frederick Shevsky. At the full moon in March, we protested the garroting of a Spanish anarchist and rehearsed the farm workers' oratorium. At the full moon in April, the police broke up our performance of the oratorium in front of a Brooklyn Bohat store, and we did two performances of the seven meditations at the Peace Church. At the full moon in May, we gave a workshop in Amherst College in Massachusetts and performed the Attica Daniel Street piece in front of the courthouse with the students. At the full moon in June, it was my 48th birthday, and we attended the Princeton Fact Conference and made a stir. At the full moon in July, we worked on the tower scenario on the roof, watching the July 4th fireworks. At the full moon in August, we rehearsed the tower in Mount Philo in Vermont and read Prairie Fire and worked on biomechanics. At the full moon in September, we were in Mount Philo rehearsing the tower and had a meeting about Pittsburgh. At the full moon in October, we worked on the Pittsburgh campaign in Mount Philo. At the, full At the blue moon in October, we had a big Halloween party in Mount Philo. At the full moon in November, we were making preparations to leave New York for Pittsburgh. At the full moon in December, we were rehearsing the intro play, later the six public acts in Pittsburgh. 1975, at the full moon in January, we returned from the anarchist conference in Philadelphia and worked on the six public acts. At the full moon in February, we worked on the Cain and Abel House for the six public act. At the full moon in March, we met with some Pittsburgh anarchists and worked on the texts for the six public acts. At the full moon in April, 
we traveled from Cincinnati to Dayton, where we performed the seven meditations. At the full moon in May, we performed Turning the Earth at a Pittsburgh church. At the full moon in June, we rehearsed the tower in St. Joseph's Church in Pittsburgh. At the full moon in July, we rehearsed the tower's general strike scene in the Stephen Foster's memorial at the University of Pittsburgh. At the full moon in August, we had our second dress rehearsal for the tower, and I designed the tower money. At the full moon in September, we gave our last American performance of the tower on the south side in Pittsburgh. At the full moon in October, we gave our first tower performance in Venice at the Church of San Lorenzo. At the full moon in November, we performed the tower and Isha rehearsed for her first public meditations performance in Bordeaux. At the full moon in December, we grieved for Jim Anderson's death as we rehearsed the tower and the meditations and met with the Anarchs in Reggio Emilia. 1976, at the full moon in January, we performed the seven meditations in Torino and talked in the Comitato di Quartieri about plays for working people. At the full moon in February, we traveled from Milano to Bergamo, where we worked on tower rewrites and visited the monuments of the Città Alta. At the full moon in March, we rehearsed the tower in Superga. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Freedom Seder in Superga. At the full moon in May, we rehearsed the marching for the occupation scene in the tower and the love house of the six public acts in Superga. At the full moon in June, we performed the tower in Torino in a tent on the banks of the Po. At the full moon in July, we performed the Apagodastasis in the piazza in Taormina to protest the reinstatement of capital punishment. And we took the tower set out in the ancient theater by moonlight and rehearsed the sixth public act at the theater gates. At the full moon in August, we were in Rome visiting the Pantheon, Cina Citta, Paolo Milano, and Frosta Verde, where we talk of New York and after tears and talk, prepare for Hannon's trip to America. At the full moon in September, we were in Castello Sforza in Vigiavano where we learned of the death of Mao Zedong. At the full moon in October, we performed the six public acts to a large crowd on the streets of Genoa. At the full moon in November, we performed four of the six public acts in the piazza at Faenza and rehearsed a feminist play. At the full moon in December, we perform the street play, Where Does the Violence Come From? in Mergilina in Napoli, where the hostile men from the MSI threw firecrackers and we rehearsed the love play at the Wilhelm Reich Center and in the evening visited the anarchists of the Louise Michel group. 1977, at the full moon in January, we were in Naples doing street theater. At the full moon in February, we were in Paris doing a love play workshop at Vincennes. At the full moon in March, we were in Madrid, surrounded by the police, for trying to play the seventh meditation in the Plaza Mayor. At the full moon in April, we crossed the border between Portugal and Spain, marrying our bags of matzah, having celebrated a street theater arrest in Porto, and a seder in Coimbra. At the full moon in May, we were in La Chaux de Fonds preparing the six public acts while Hannon lay healing from his operation in Lausanne. At the full moon in June, we arrived in Erlangen after an all-night drive from Switzerland on Julian's 52nd birthday, and we played the meditations in German in the theater in the garage. At the full moon in July, we played the meditations at the Folk House in Zurich. At the full moon of August, we were rehearsing Prometheus in Rome. 
At the full moon in September, we played the Nuclear Plague in the Piazza Navona in Rome as a part of a demonstration against nuclear power plants. At the full moon in October, we were in, a, we were in Munich at a press conference following Julian's release from jail for defamation of the German state, and we set out for Italy, arriving at night in Bologna. At the full moon in November, we were rehearsing in Rome, Prometheus, and the strike support play. At the full moon in December, we had a Christmas party on the day of Charlie Chaplin's death. 1978, at the full moon in January, we performed the meditations at the Botschaft Theater in Frankfurt, and I wrote letters about diary publication to Kate Millett, Karen Malpied, and Bob Prudzanski. At the full moon in February, we were preparing Prometheus in Rome. At the full moon in March, we were preparing Prometheus in Rome. At the full moon in April, we were preparing the Prometheus text in Rome. At the full moon in May, we were rehearsing the Prometheus Hell Cantanta in Rome. At the full moon in June, we were staging the Prometheus tableaus in the Teatro Alberico in Rome. At the full moon in July, we staged the act one, Fire Theft in Prometheus, and gave a student workshop at the El Rico with a street performance of the love play in the Piazza San Salvador in La Roe. At the full moon in August, we were working with Jesse Sayre on the dances for Prometheus in Rome. At the full moon in September, we were in Prato, rehearsing the first full run-through dress rehearsal of Acts 1 and 2 of Prometheus. At the full moon in October, we drove from Liverpool to London to try to organize performances there. At the full moon in November, we were setting up the Prometheus set in Lille. At the full moon in December, we played Prometheus in Liège and vigiled under the full moon in front of St. Leonard Prison. 1979, at the full moon in January, we performed the meditations at the Sala Borromini in Rome, and after the play, talked to an American ecologist and two Japanese students. At the full moon in February, we drove from Rome to Bologna, beginning our winter tour. At the full moon in March, we performed Prometheus in Udine, at the Teatro della Mostra, and vigiled at the Carceri Giudizzario, at the full moon in April, I made up Haggadah with Karen Melpied for the Seder postponed three days for the performances. And in the evening, we played Prometheus at the Palazzino Liberty in Milano and vigiled at the San Vittore prison. At the full moon in May, we were in Bologna pro protesting against the review, which accused us of supporting terrorism and performed Prometheus at Deuce Theater. At the full moon in June, we were on the high seas, on the Queen Elizabeth II, sailing for New York. At the full moon in July, we were preparing for the London Prometheus at the Round House. At the full moon in August, we traveled from, from Fontenay to chalon sur saone on our way back to Rome from New York, London, and Paris. At the full moon in September, we rehearsed the choruses of Antigone in the Borghese Gardens in Rome. At the full moon in October, Hannon and I traveled through thunderstorms from Venice to Rome, studying Greek lines in pre pre preparation for leaving for Greece in two days. At the full moon in November, we met with the Greek actors from the Actors Syndicate, followed by a reception with the mayor of Piraeus followed by a replacement rehearsal for the actors leaving the company, and followed by a performance of Prometheus with an ovation. At the full moon in December, we drove from Udine to Bergamo with Allen Ginsberg and Peter Orlovsky and Nanda Pivano and Gregory Corso during the poetry reading tour, visiting the piazza of Udine with its Lion of Venice and its moors by noon sunlight and the Piazza of Bergamo with its sphinxes by the full moon at midnight. 
1980. At the full moon in January, we were in Rome editing diaries, poems, articles, and preparing work on a new play, Tuller's Massa Mensch. At the full moon in February, we were in Rome working on Massa Mensch, and we heard of the death of Romolo Valli. At the full moon in March, we were in Rome working on Massa Mensch and saw Ronconi's production of Maeterlinck's Bluebird. At the blue moon in March, we had our first history discussion for Massa Mensch on the Eliseo stage in Rome and performed Antigone with Polynikes with a broken foot. We postponed the Seder for its second night this full moon night so that we can perform. At the full moon in April, we were in Bamberg in Bavaria rehearsing the choruses for Massa Mensch and at night took a woodland walk on the Walpugisnacht. The full moon in May, we had our only dress rehearsal of Massa Mensch in the 10th theater of the Free Theater Festival on the grounds of the Olympia Park in Munich on the night before our opening. On the full moon in June, we rehearsed the House of Love and the processions of six public acts in the Borghese Gardens of Rome. And Isha and Eden played among the poppies, and we rehearsed the processions. At the full moon in July, we drove from New York City to Greenfield, Massachusetts, where we attended a street performance of Achiba Malkalish Panic, directed by Tobin and produced by Eduardo. At the full moon in August, we were in mid-Atlantic on the Queen Elizabeth II, returning to Europe, writing down the text of six public acts, listening to the news from Poland. At the full moon in September, we were in Warsaw at the Palace of Culture and Science and saw a man of marble, visited markets, and performed Antigone to an ovation. At the full moon in October, we were in Rome rehearsing replacements for Massa Mensch. At the full moon in November, we traveled from Rome to Asti, where we played Antigone at the Teatro Mago Povero. At the full moon in December, we were in Rome at the Equinox, preparing to go to New York, where Mabel Beck is in the hospital. 1981. At the full moon in January, we were again in Rome after a tour and a trip to New York for the death and burial of Mabel Beck and packing to leave for a new town. We watched the inauguration of Ronald Reagan on television. At the full moon in February, we were in Rome rehearsing Antigone replacement. At the full moon in March, <clears throat> I was in Rome again whilst the company was returning from Cento, where they performed, performed Massa Mensch without me so that I could work and rest between different towns. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in an occupied house in Milano. At the full moon in May, we planned Sparcono i Turchi for the Estate Romana at the Commune in the Teatro of Marcello. At the full moon in June, we rehearsed six public acts in the Castello Privo in Metergano for the together of the Comuna virus. At the full moon in July, we began our first reading of the Yellow Methuselah in Rome. At the full moon in August, we were in Barcelona in the middle of the Spanish tour of Mass Manch and Antigone. At the full moon in September, we traveled all day in the train from Zaragoza to Madrid, to Murcia, to Molino, to Segura, where we played Antigone, while Imke lying sick in a nearby tent. It was my 38th wedding anniversary. At the full moon in October, we traveled from Rome to Paris, where I studied Sonia's lines from Massa Mensch in French and walked with Hannon in the Latin Quarter. At the full moon in November, we traveled from Lille to Paris. I was editing my 1950 diaries for Grove Press. At the full moon in December, we were in Perpignan filming with Sheldon Rochelin and drove to Beijer where we performed Antigone. 1982, 
At the full moon in January, we watched the total eclipse of the full moon over Piazza Independenza during a rehearsal of the Yellow Methuselah in Rome. At the full moon in February, we went to Paris, where we saw Robert Abirached, who said the French government would give us 240,000 francs for the Yellow Methuselah and a theater to work in. And we visited Antoine Vitesse, who invited us to a play at Chaillot, and Jim Haynes to plan the printing of the poems of a wandering Jewess. At the full moon in March, we rehearsed the third act of the Yellow Methuselah at Cinecitta in Rome. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in Istu Istuto Luce Cinecitta. After a rehearsal of the fourth act of the Yellow Methuselah. At the full moon in May, I read my poetry at Hanja's concert at the Goldoni Theater in Rome. At the full moon in June, we were in Paris, planning the cover for the poems of a wandering Jewess with Jim Haynes and having a birthday lunch with Helena and Francoise and then taking a flight train to Vienna. At the full moon in July, we performed Master Mensch at the Epe de Bois at the Caduceri in Paris, spoke on the pop club at the television, and went to La Coupola with DLE and LE. At the full moon in August, we were in Paris working on plans for the Parisian Manicomio play for television. And in the evening, went to see Parsifal at the Pagoda. At the full moon in September, we played Masse Mensch at the Svenska Theater in Helsinki. At the full moon in October, we had dinner at Jean Scores with Kate Mannheim and Richard Foreman, Jane Kramer, Ruth Henry, Leonard and Ann Gutman, William Klein and Ellie, and talked about our memories of the Upper West Side. At the full moon in November, I was editing my diaries of 1947 to 1957 in Rome. At the first full moon in December, I was editing my diaries of 1947 to 1957 in Rome. At the blue moon in December, I was still editing my diaries of 1947 to 1957 in Rome. 1983, at the full moon in January, we were packing to leave Rome amidst farewells and parties with Dario Bellezza and a $2,000 check from Grove Press for my diaries. At the full moon in February, we were in Taron Plage, Saint-Michel Chef Chef, rehearsing the Yellow Methuselah and preparing the archaeology of sleep for Nantes. At the full moon in March, we celebrated the Seder in Taron Plage, Saint-Michel Chef Chef. At the full moon in April, I visited Julian in the clinic six days after his operation. He was rewriting some of the archaeology of scenes. I visited the doctor in the morning and learned that I too needed an operation. I rehearsed the log rolling scene and ran through the first part of the play. Garrett consoled me through the night of my worst pains till dawn. At the full moon in May, we worked on the archaeology of sleep in Nantes six days before the opening, rehearsing with Isha for the role of the sleep of Nantes and working on the train of thought. At the full moon in June, we were in Paris, recovering from surgery and search searching for a Paris theater, for the living theater. At the full moon in July, in Paris, we visited the Pataclan Theater and the Rupert Theater in Clichy, while telephones ring back and forth across the Atlantic to decide whether or not Julian will play a role in Francis Ford Coppola's Cotton Club. At the full moon in August, I was in Paris, editing the diaries of 1958 with Hannon and packing to join Julian in New York filming Cotton Club. At the full moon in September, we were preparing Hannon's birthday party 
and I went to his cousin Francine Tint's exhibit and walked up Fifth Avenue and saw the film Daniel at the War Resisters' Benefit. At the full moon in October, I was editing the final version of the 1947-1957 diaries. At the full moon in November, the company, newly arrived in the USA, met at 800 West End Avenue to make plans, and we watched it together the day after. At the full moon in December, we were rehearsing the Yellow Methuselah in the Quando Studios of New York. Posnick, Wilcox, Brown, and Bartenieff visited. 1984. At the full moon in January, we were taping Antigone, which had opened and closed at the Joyce Theater, along with the Yellow Methuselah and the Archaeology of Sleep, and the One and the Many, since the last full moon. Then we went to Karen Malpeds and dined with Mary and Carlo and Cyrus, and Sophie Burrell and Erica, and spoke of New York hopes. At the full moon in February, we taught a class at NYU and saw Jesse dance at City Center. At the full moon in March, we talked to Arthur Sainer, still saddened by the bad New York press, and Julian not feeling well. At the full moon in April, Julian came out of doctor's hospital after surgery for a cancer recurrence in time to celebrate the Seder with family and 60 friends at home. At the full moon in May, Julian, not well, visits Dr. Maiden, who orders a film scan tomorrow. Garrick helps write out invitations to my book party at Gotham's Bookmark. At the full moon in June, Julian was in the medical hospital, bravely ill, where Allen Ginsberg visited him, his gloomy and takes pictures, while Hannon calls everywhere to find a hopeful therapy. At the full moon in July, Julian was in Mount Sinai Hospital with a stomach pump and intravenous, intravenous feeding, waiting for a fever to go down to start chemotherapy. At the full moon in August, Julian was in Mount Sinai recovering from a pneumonia crisis that kept him gasping all night under oxygen. At the full moon in September, Julian was at home, still very weak, but able to, to walk on Broadway and to receive visitors, including Iva Cohen, Timothy Baum, and Joshua Lessing, who talked of giving Julian's paintings an exhibit. At the full moon in October, we posed for Ron Blanchett's photos, and in the evening went to the Brooklyn Academy of Music, where we attended the New York premiere of Meredith Monk's Games and the reception afterwards in the Le Perc space. At the frosty moon in November, we attended Dario Fo's press conference at the Joyce Theater and Philip Glass's Akhenaton at the city center. At the full moon in December, Julian, weakened by chemotherapy, talks to guests, goes downtown to a small gallery to see Beata Wheeler and Philip Hipwell's works, is receiving too great praise for his performance in Cotton Club and struggles. 1985, at the full moon in January, Julian was rehearsing Beckett's Lessness with Gerald Thomas for a WBAI tape. At the full moon in February, we went to the public theater to plan a reading and production of Michael McClure's Victims. At the full moon in March, Julian and Hannon and I taught a class at New York University about the Living Theater 14th Street, and then we watched Julian's dress rehearsal of Beckett's That Time at the La Mama Theater. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder with our family and 60 friends. Isha read the Manish Tana, and Baba contested the Afikomen. Julian read Memon, as is his custom, but Allen Ginsberg came just in time to read his holies. At the full moon in May, Julian, suffering the effects of chemotherapy, read with me for Alan Alda and Martin Bregman's new movie. And in the evening, we went to the theater for a New City to see two Rosalind Drexler's plays. 
At the full moon in June, we arrived in Frankfurt, where Julian is to appear in that time at the Theatre am Tomb. At the full moon in July, Julian was working on the Entrick, and Hannon and I were editing my 1958 to 1961 diaries, and we were visited by Rufus Collins with news from Amsterdam. At the full moon in August, we were back in New York, Julian taking a heavy dose of chemotherapy in preparation for the back tour to Europe, while we planned the Living Theatre in New York. At the full moon in September, we were in mourning for Julian, who died on the evening on the new moon. At the full moon in October, I participated in a stage director's panel. At the full moon in November, I mailed out thanks for the participants in the Joyce Theatre tribute for Julian and participated in the Samaya tribute. At the full moon in December, Eden came to visit and we opened Christmas gifts and we were sad. Garrick, Eden, Isha and I. 1986, at the full moon in January, I was mostly grieving. At the full moon in February, I worked at my desk, wrote letters, had an Indian dinner with Hannon and Leia and Michael. At the full moon in March, Hans Wehmer Hens suggested that I direct Stollerhof for the Munich Festspiel. In the evening, we hear a reading of Michael McClure's. At the full moon in April, we taught an NYU class and spent some time with Eden, who is visiting from school. At the full moon in May, we read the reviews of Julian's last film, Poltergast 2. At the full moon in June, we filmed the hell sequence for Angel Heart in New Orleans and under the midnight moon, steamed up the Mississippi on the Bayou Jean Lafitte for the rap party. At the full moon in July, I spent a day with Garrick, going through family papers, planning the future, Isha's college, Julian's paintings. At the full moon in August, we measure the great hall of the Cooper Union for our retro spectacle, speak at the Educational Theater Conference at NYU, deliver four applications to the New York Foundation of the Arts, buy Baba Israel a bat and ball as a fecum in present, and visit Steve Ben Israel and John Graff. At the full moon in September, two days after a year without Julian, we rehearsed scenes from Desire Trapped by the Tale and the Heroes for the retrospectable and have a technical dinner with John Dodd Bill Coco and Michael Smith. At the full moon in October, we performed the Living Theater Retrospectacle in the Great Hall of Cooper Union. At the full moon in November, we, we attended a party at Hans Salz, where Rosa von Braunheim filmed an interview with me for a film about Maria Piscator and Lotte Gosler. At the full moon in December, we taught our last NYU class of the semester, ending with our toes plague. And in the evening, Jane Rankin Reed and Garrick showed Julian's paintings to John Lee from the Thibault de Nagy Gallery. 1987, at the full moon in January, I visited Hannon in Mount Sinai Hospital, recovering from a gallbladder operation. At the full moon in February, we were preparing for the collective NYU play, for Cassandra in Frankfurt, and for the Seder in Milan, and working on Karen's Us, and on translating Hans Sahl's Rubinstein, while Jane Rankin Reed chooses from among Julian's drawings for the Bleecker Street exhibition. At the full moon in March, I worked on the Italian Haggadah, though it was Purim, and worked on the stagings for the NYU play, and we attended a party at Carol Westenick's. At the full moon in April, we were in Milan performing the Passover Seder with our company and 100 spectator participants at the Teatro Pier Lombardo for the Hebrew Cultural Festival. 
at the full moon in May, we were preparing work for Cassandra's for a series of auditions for the Penn Women's Panel with Karen and me, for the Mad Madame Piscator's escort, for the NYU play, and for a street performance at the Battleship Intrepid for Armed Forces Day. At the full moon in June, I was rehearsing the Duchess of York in Richard II for the Shakespeare Festival in Central Park. On the full moon in July, it was Eden's 16th birthday. Helen and I went to Long Beach and returned in time for my performance in Richard II. At the full moon in August, we were working on Cassandra, and in the evening there were visitors, Joe Chaikin, Shakti, and Luke Taylor. At the full moon in September, we held the general probe, the final dress rehearsal with spectators of Peter Hamel's Cassandra in the Mozart Saal of the Alte Oper in Frankfurt. At the full moon in October, we drove out to Long Island to visit Harriet Resnick in hospital. At the full moon in November, we had the first rehearsal of Karen Maupit's Us at the theater for the new city. At the full moon in December, we were preparing the production of Us and the launching of the Living Theater's new campaign for its own theater. 1988, at the full moon in January, we were performing Us at the theater for the new city and Renfrew Neff interviewed us for Theater Week and we attended a party in honor of Hans Zal. At the full moon in February, we wrote to the city's new commissioner of culture, Mary Campbell, for support in establishing a permanent home for the Living Theater in New York City. At the full moon in March, we taught a class at NYU on many loves and the marrying maiden, and had a theater business lunch with Harvey Seifter, and an art dinner with some collectors and Ruth Escobar, our mentor who is now a senator in Brazil. At the full moon in April, we cleaned up from the Seder, celebrated at West End Avenue, and went with Isha to see Martin Sheen and Al Pacino in Julius Caesar at the Public Theater. At the first full moon in May, we played our final performance of Poland, 1931, at Charas. At the blue moon in May, we received the silver and bronze medals of the University of Bologna from the rector for our work with 80 students on the Retrospectola visited the university treasure, and then drove to Intagna, Switzerland, to begin our honeymoon. At the full moon in June, I was staging my lines for Chantal Ackerman's Lost Paradise to school next day, under the second day of the full moon in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. On the full moon in July, we rehearsed Turning the Earth on the campus of Columbia University, our final dress rehearsal before performances in lots and gardens. At the full moon in August, we walked on the Montauk Beach in the morning, then drove from Maxine and Sheldon's back to New York, where in the evening we met with Joe Chaikin, Bill Coco, and Mark Amiton, to discuss dumbstruck and war in heaven over Chinese dinner. At the full moon in November, Wavy Gravy visited our rehearsal, a run-through of victims in freezing cold at the theater for the new city. At the full moon in December, we performed victims at the theater for the new city. Carl Einhorn visited backstage, after which we met the Libyan ambassador at Harold Channer's party. And then Mark Ernst danced naked for us at Allen Ginsberg's, where we pay a sick call for his recuperation from a gallbladder operation. 1989. At the full moon in January, we videotaped the Shekinah scene from Poland 1931 on Mercer Street. At night, we saw Houston's The Dead on the VCR. 
at the full moon in February, I worked with Beata Bennett on the translation of I and I. At the full moon in March, a night of screaming under the moon on Amsterdam Avenue for the Equalizer, we had the first reading of Tablets at 800 West End. At the full moon in April, I worked with Gordon Jacobs on the Yiddish accent for Shifra Pua in Enemies, a love story. And I worked with Erica Bilder on the theandric translation of Fanet. And in the evening, Hannon staged the prologue of Tablets. At the full moon in May, we were painting and plastering the walls of a new theater on 3rd Street and Avenue C. In the evening, a Tablets rehearsal. At the full moon in June, I was sick with the flu, feverish, in bed, unable to work. Wrote a letter to the president of China protesting the execution of the demonstrators at Tiananmen Square. At the full moon in July, I was in Montreal shooting Enemies of Love Story under Paul Mazursky's direction. At the full moon in August, we were rehearsing I and I at the Living Theatre. At the full moon in September, I proofread the Antigone preface and we were previewing I and I. At the full moon in October, we were performing I and I at the Living Theatre and I taught a class on Erwin Piscator at the New School with Maria Piscator and in the afternoon, we met with Mel Most to discuss the human Humanicus and the international workers of the world. At the full moon in November, I was working on the film Awakenings from 5 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. while the set was being changed from I and I to tablets for repertory. At the full moon in December, Enemies, a love story, just opened the night before and I had a day off from Awakenings. We moved furniture out of Long Beach. I had an audition for True Colors, and in the evening, a reading at the Living Theater with Ken Brown and Ira Cohen. 1990, at the full moon in January, we performed I and I at the Living Theater. At the full moon in February, I auditioned for a David Seltzer pilot and performed I and I, then celebrated Alex Kinsey's birthday. At the full moon in March, we rehearsed the German Requiem scene four in the afternoon and the body of God in the evening. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at the Living Theater with 120 people, including the homeless from the body of God. At the full moon in May, we opened Eric Bentley German Requiem with the author and the press present. My handbag is stolen after the performance. At the full moon in June, I worked on the Beckett article in the morning, and then casting for German Requiem, summer replacements, casting Charles Cragen as Sibius, and then took notes on the German Requiem performance of the winter cast. At the full moon in July, we prepared to leave New York for our tour, Living Tomorrow on Kuwait Airlines, a last tablets rehearsal, a last company meeting, and the summer cast German Requ Requiem rehearsals. At the full moon in August, we drove from Annecy to Dortmund on our way to Berlin to play Tablets and I and I in Dirk's Ramzada Theater. We lunch in Geneva, passing through easy borders from Basel to Karlsruhe to Dortmund, where, on Hiroshima Day and Lester's birthday, we listen to warlike news from Kuwait and Iraq. At the full moon in September, we worked all day with the workshop participants creating the Arezzo street play, and in the evening we had our first discussion of the rules of civility by George Washington in the mattress room at the Convito where we lodge. At the full moon in October, we taught our NYU class, The Young Disciple, then had lunch with Karen Malpied. 
Hannon went to the second Body of God rehearsal, while I went to Columbia to see my student, Carl Vasari's Camino Rio. At the full moon in November, we saw a possible home and theater space on West 4th Street. In the evening, I went to the Brooklyn Academy of Music to hear Lou Harrison's Last Symphony, while the Body of God played at the Living Theater. At the full moon in December, I was in Hollywood to make the Adams Family and saw the good woman of Sejuan while in New York, HJT's The Maids was playing at the Living Theater. At the blue moon in December, we drove from Hollywood to San Diego to see in the new year with poet and pacifist friends of the Rothenbergs and to visit Luke Theodore for the last time. 1991. At the full moon in January, I was in Hollywood on a day off from strenuous mamushka rehearsal for the Adams Family. I dined with Jill Taylor, who gave me LA News, and talked an hour with Hannon, who gave me the NYC News. At the full moon in February, I was in Hollywood shooting the auction scene for the Adams Family, and at night, the arrival in the car. At the full moon in March, I attended a Seder in Bel Air in California at Roberta Neiman's with Leo Garden, while Hannon, Isha, and the company celebrated the Seder in Budapest, the first Seder of my life separate from my family. At the full moon in April, we walked in Paris, visited the Clooney, the Unicorns, the Boatman's Pillar, the old churches, and had dinner at Cati Marchand's. The full moon in May, we began work on the Weiss play, discussed Rubin's play for the 40th year benefit, and attended the mayor's annual theater party at Gracie Manson. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Living Theater Seder at the home of Karen Malpete and George Botaniev. At the full moon in June, we were deep into rehearsals of the Waste play, preparing and rehearsing the no play scene about the pollution of water. At the full moon in July, we opened the Waste laboratory with installations by 50 artists and readings of poems and songs. At the full moon in August, we gave our final performance of Waste on 3rd Street and Avenue C outside of the Living Theater. At the full moon in September, we celebrated Hannon's 41st birthday with a visit to Yale and in the evening, Dina's workshop for the anarchism play. At the full moon in October, we prepared the Italian tour with Fadini and I prepared for tomorrow's appearance as Granny Adams in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. At the full moon in November, we rehearsed the sixth book, preparing for the fourth anniversary benefit. We lunched with Maria Piscator, who is sometimes angry and sometimes enthusiastic about the Piscator seminar she is planning. At the full moon in December, Hannon finished the Zero Method text and we ran through the play for the first time. 1992, at the full moon in January, we were frantically preparing for the Italian tour and I had a last luncheon with Karen Malpied and we dined at Dworkin and Stoltenberg's house. At the full moon in February, we took the ferry Pascoli from Naples to Palermo. At the full moon in March, we were touring the Zero Method in the cities near Rome and our performance in Latina was cancelled because the management didn't like us enough to advertise the play. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in Brooklyn at Karen Malpied and George Bartinius. At the full moon in May, we were rehearsing Waste and then went to two parties, Margaret Croydon's birthday and Jonathan Shoya. At the full moon in June, we arrived in Wilmington, North Carolina to work on the movie Household Saints. And Isha was hired to be my stand-in. At the full moon in July, we were in Wrightsville Beach, enjoying a few days off 
from a rigorous shooting schedule. Why in New York, the company prepared its weekend performances of waste. At the full moon in August, I shot my final scene in Household Saints, floating asleep like a log in the Blue Grotto. At the full moon in September, we were performing the Zero Method in New York City. And after the show, Mary Mary gave a party for Gunter Panovitz, and many generations of living theater actors gathered on the Zero Method set. At the full moon in October, we were in Texas, and I worked on a staging for the first scene in Brodel. And in the evening, we celebrated Ty and Jim's anniversary with a big party during which we watched the presidential debate. At the full moon in November, I worked on my Piscator notes with Jonathan Shire and prepared some metamorphosis notes for Maria Piscator and Penny Arcade came to visit and we took her to an appearance on Coca Crystal's cable TV show. At the full moon in December, I worked with John Titel on the biography. Caitlin Hoffman came to visit from the Caravan of Dreams, and we went to a promotional party for Household Saints at Essex House. 1993, at the full moon in January, Elisa Solomon interviewed us about the closing of the Third Street Theater, and Maria Piscotter wavered about her testament, and we attended Sybil Claiborne's memorial. At the full moon in February, we held our first Rules of Civility rehearsal at the Castillo Center. In the evening, we saw the National Theater of the Deaf's performance of Ophelia at the William Carlos Williams Center in Rutherford with Michael and Eileen Posnick. At the full moon in March, we were rehearsing the Rules of Civility for the Theater for the New City and the German Tour. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Living Theater Seder at the home of Karen Malpede and George Bartinieff in Brooklyn. At the full moon in May, I was sick with the flu. When I arrived in Santa Fe with Garrick, we attended a reception in the Spirit Gallery surrounded by Julian's paintings and drawings, superbly framed, and then went to the home at Andrew Ugerleider and Kate Priest to stay for a few days. At the full moon in June, my birthday was celebrated at the National Arts Center with 200 friends and promotion for household saints. At the full moon in July, we celebrated Independence Day by working on our Brazilian workshops and visiting Lola Rose and Maria Pescada in various hospitals and watching fireworkers fireworks across the Tampa Z in Irvington. At the full moon in August, we were in New York sending thank you notes to the Brazilians, preparing for the new Mexican tour and visiting Maria Piscator in the psychiatric hospital. At the full moon in September, we were in Taos, New Mexico, performing the rules of civility at the community auditorium and rehearsing for the revival of mysteries. At the full moon in October, we were preparing to go into rehearsals for Anarchia. At the full moon in November, Hannon was in the hospital. His heart operation postponed at the last minute, while the company performed his Anarchia monologue at Abby Hoffman's birthday party. At the full moon in December, Hannon was still in the hospital, recovering from a heart valve replacement. And I visited with Christo, the rapper, artist, and friends. 1994, at the full moon in January, we were preparing and packing to go to California. We visited Mark Amiton and Maria Piscotta. At the full moon in February, we moved from the Resnicks in Newport Beach to an apartment in the St. James at Hollywood and La Brea in the hopes I'll find movie work. At the full moon in March, we celebrated the Seder at Karen Malpede and George Bartanieff's house in Brooklyn. At the full moon in April, I was studying Maudie and Jane, and I finished the humanities text for my Korean speech, pre-booked, The Furies, seen for Not In My Name, and rehearsed it in the West Beth space. At the moon in May, we traveled from New York City to Seoul, Korea, 
for a conference and a workshop. At the full moon in June, I was rehearsing Morty and Jane in Asti while Hannon went to Texas to visit his ailing father. At the full moon in July, we played Morty and Jane outdoors in Volterra, where I saw the prisoners perform the brig in the fortress. At the full moon in August, we were rehearsing mysteries in New York City while Hannon was in Texas to be with his father. At the full moon in September, we were performing mysteries in New York City. We visited Josie and Giselle and Julian's grave in Cedar Park and went to Atlantic City. At the full moon in October, we were in Asti and went to the Palazzo Atolenghi to hear Gianluca Favetto's book presentation. At the full moon in November, we were in Milan rehearsing a workshop production of a day in the life of the city to be performed in the Brera. At the full moon in December, we were in New York City rehearsing Not In My Name at the theater for the new city. 1995, at the full moon in January, we flew from New York to Italy to begin the next phase of the Maudie and Jane tour. At the full moon in February, we drove from the Pasolini Convegno in Pesaro to Asti and spoke at the Palazzo Ottolenghi about ensembles, the living and the alfieri. At the full moon in March, we were in Paris for Steve Lacey's Homage to the Living Theater concert at the American Center with Lacey's Thelonious Monk pieces and Friedrich Retzky's Wild de Profundis dedicated to Luke Theodore and Hannon and I in the last scene of Zero Method, and my songs set by Steve Lacey, sung by Irene Ibe, accompanied by Redsey and Lacey. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at the Casina in Asti, with 30 people, including the whole Alfieri company, and Christina, and Massimo, and Claudio, and Laura, and their daughter, Alessandra, and Pietro, Candida, and Mariella Pirelli. At the full moon in May, we performed the workshop play A Day in the Life of the City in the Palestra of Palastro in Bologna with 86 participants and Antonietta La Terza. In the evening, we performed Maudi and Jane at the Sofito Theater. At the full moon in June, we returned to New York City from Boston where we participated in Tamaran's secular bar mitzvah called A Rite of Passage. At the full moon in July, we were in New York City attending to the exhibition of Julian's paintings and to cardiograms, mammograms, auditions, tour bookings, and going to the theater with friends. At the full moon in August, we flew from New York City to Milan at, to begin a tour of 110 days in three countries, with living in Lautzenhausen, Utopia, The Mysteries, and Maori and Jane. At the full moon in September, we began blocking living in Lautzenhausen in the airplane hangar in the abandoned American air base in Hahn, near Rhein. At the full moon in October, we saluted the full moon over the Adriatic after rehearsing Utopia in Cesanozio. At the full moon in November, I traveled alone from Milano to Udine, where I played Maudie and Jane, while the living performed Utopia at Leon Cavallo's Centro Sociale de Milano. And in New York City, the Whitney Museum show Beat Generation Culture and the New America open with two words by Julian Beck. At the full moon in December, we were in San Francisco teaching a class at the American Conservatory Theater, a 25-minute version of Antigone's choruses. After a morning excursion into the Redwood Forest of Miller National Park, and then for dinner with Mel Clay in his little room. 1996, at the full moon in January, we were rehearsing Utopia for its New York production at the Vineyard Theater. At the full moon in February, we saw Denise Stokos in Unmeda, 
at the La Mama and a performance of Utopia in the presence of the New York Times with Erica Bilder as Paulina. At the full moon in March, we were rehearsing Not In My Name with an augmented cast of 23, preparing for the next execution. At the full moon in April, we performed Not In My Name at NYU at an anti-capital punishment rally. Then, under a total eclipse, hidden by clouds, we celebrated the Seder at Karen Malpete's house with 70 people. At the full moon in May, I was in New York City writing the commencement address for Witter. At the full moon in June, we played the mysteries in Shepalu, in Caligari, and released Utopia, an Italian, and got news of the death of Timothy Leary. At the full moon in July, we flew from California to New York City. At the full moon in August, we went to see the Jewish Museum Auditorium to prepare for the winter's gluckel. And in the evening, we performed the protest oratorium version of Not In My Name in Times Square for Javier Carlos Medina. At the full moon in September, we were in Belgrade conducting a workshop to be performed on Sunday in the Republic Square a day in the life of Belgrade, and in the evening attended a reception in our honor in the open theaters at the American Embassy. At the full moon in October, Hannon and I in New York prepared his staging of Julian's Questions for a concert next week in Berlin with Steve Lacey and Frederick Shevsky. In the morning, we went to services at Anik Hassad and in the evening to a party at Paul McIsaac's where everyone watched the Yankees win the World Series. At the full moon in November, we are in New York preparing the tour for next year, working on materials for Corar, for other projects, and attending a reading of his memoirs by Ned Roran at Barnes and Noble. At the full moon in December, we paid a Christmas visit to Maria Piscotter in her hundredth year, and we transmitted a program on the underground anarchist radio, Radio Free NY with Penny Arcade and Al Giordano at a secret site on the Lower East Side. 1997, at the full moon in January, we traveled from Milan to Foggia on our way to Lecce to play Maudie and Jane on a Seven Cities tour. At the full moon in February, we were in New York City giving a workshop to 20 new people for the cast of Not In My Name. At the full moon in March, we drove up to Dobbs Ferry to observe the comet hale -Bopp on the banks of the Hudson. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at Popoli in Abruzzo, where the Drama Teatro Company serenaded us with Yiddish songs. At the full moon in May, I was rehearsing Schizophrenia in Ljubljana in Slovenia with the Choreo Drama Theater under Zlatar Frey's direction, dancing naked in Plechnik's outdoor theater under the moon. At the full moon in June, we were in Civitari del Friuli and then in Udine giving a workshop for the performance of a day in the life of the city in Udine's Piazza Libertà. At the full moon in July, we travel from Barese, where we call Isha for her 30th birthday, from Pieri's house, to Civitale de Friuli for a schizophrenia performance. At the full moon in August, we opened the libation bearers, the Chiafone, playing Clytemnestra and Agistas in a small Greek amp amphitheater in Palazzo Acreed, in the ruins of the ancient Acre. At the full moon in September, we performed Not In My Name in Times Square for a man named Mario Murphy, executed in Virginia. At the full moon in October, we performed the mysteries in Sarajevo, in the same theater, still standing after the bombardments, where we performed it 31 years ago. 
At the full moon in November, I won the Rabbi Marshall T. Meyer Risk Taker Award at the congregation B'nai Jeshurun, and we performed not in my name, in the sanctuary. At the full moon in December, we were in New York attending an underground event of Josh at the Sidewalk Cafe and had dinner with Jane Kramer at the National Arts Club, who gave a talk on Allen Ginsberg to publicize her latest work. And at a party for Eli Wallach, we greeted Louise Kurtz and her new husband, Al Hirschfeld, and talked with Harry Belafonte, who remembered the dramatic workshop. 1998. At the full moon in January, we were in Paris to present the publication of Finette's translation of Julian Stiandrick at the Gerard Philippe Théâtre, and we talk with Michel Kokosowski about a return to Avignon this year, and we hear Grotowski talk, and we walk by the Seine. At the full moon in February, we were in Athens, Ohio, finishing the birthday cake of Bertolt Brecht's 100th birthday celebration and stumbled through the first 10 scenes of Mother Courage, and I prepared for my Elizabeth Baker Evans lecture tomorrow on the events of Paris in 1968. At the full moon in March, we were in Athens, Ohio, working on the Athens Peace Coalition, who were enthusiastic after having prevented the second Gulf War at the government's town meeting in Columbus, Ohio. I attended the penultimate performance of Mother Courage and took part in the audience discussion afterwards. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at George and Karen's with 90 people, among them Garrick and the Italians who are arranging Julian's painting exhibit for Torino, Roma, and Napoli. And I said, next year in our own theater. At the full moon in May, we went to see a lawyer about our street bust. We rehearsed capital changes at home in the evening, staging the Mayan pyramid in Veracruz and the Money Men at, Pia at Piazza. At the full moon in June, we attended a memorial for Jack Frager, anarchist, at the Brecht Forum. The Pirellis returned to Italy, and we rehearsed capital changes, even on a dark night. At the full moon in July, we were in Spoleto for Andrea Liberovici and Eduardo Sanguinetti's Macbeth remix, in which I read the voices of the witches on tape, Fuori Campo. At the full moon in August, we were in Palermo finishing a workshop in Santa Eulalia's deconsecrated de church in the market quarter. The Vucheria, where the tops threw bombette firecrackers at us. In the night, we went to Segesta, where under the moon we saw Carlo Freni Bellini event beneath the glowing Greek temple. At the full moon in September, we participated in John Cage's 86th birthday reading at St. Mark's with Andrea Leibovich's tape of Cage reading Joyce's Ulysses in Andrea's cut-up, while Hannon and I poured water as accompaniment from a narrow beaker to a wider beaker. At the full moon in October, we were in New York per City preparing for the coming tour, preparing our books and our poems and our own files for a new move when we return in December. At the full moon in November, we were staying at the Vines Currents in Gianzano to stoke the embers, working on Joseph and Valesca and Erwin Piscator, and driving to Rome for errands and pleasure and a press conference. At the full moon in December, we were in New York City preparing the next steps. 1999. At the full moon in January, we read in the annual prose and poetry readings. Hannon and I read alternating pages of the last chapter of Finnegan's Wake at the Paula Cooper Gallery. And then at St. Mark's on the Bowery, we join the poets and Hannon reads a brief walk and I read others. At the blue moon in January, 
We were in New York City conducting the second of two workshops to prepare a vivacious new cast for Not In My Name. There is no full moon in February of 1999. At the full moon in March, Dylan F Foley made an oral history with me about the 60s and their consequence. Then Jessica Luz made an oral history with me and Ira Cohen about Jack Micheline. And then Ira with the Kalata where we talk of literati. At the blue moon in March, we celebrated the Seder at Karen Malpede's and George Bartiniff's house in Brooklyn with 80 people, among them Tamaran. At the full moon in April, we traveled from Genova to Alessandria, where we signed the contract for Rocchetta Ligare with the men of the Provincia. Hannon traveled to Milano to meet with the comrades of the Eleuthera publishers for more copies of Conversazione, then to the Comune Biares to celebrate their 30th anniversary, then to meet Piero Schito, the agent, about organizing us. At the full moon in May, we were in Asti for a convenio on woman's body as flesh equals meat slash carne. At the full moon in June, we were in Rapalano finishing an article on Antigone for Lorenza who read at the Sant'Angelo Convenio and studying lines for Ultimo Rogo and capital changes and visiting the Siena Cathedral among the crowds gathering for the Pauchio. At the full moon in July, we were newly installed in the Centello Living Europa, in the Palazzo Spinola, in Rochetta Bigole, and already we were rehearsing capital changes in Italian in our wooden beamed rehearsal space. At the full moon in August, we were in Barcelona, Sicily, touring with Ultimo Rogo in Palermo at the Villa La Penduza, in Marsala at the Carmelite Convent. At the full moon in September, we were at Rosetta in the midst of rehearsals for the Italian reversion of Capital Changes, called Tu Complesso Capitale, to open next month in Pontedera. At the full moon in October, we were in Rosetta planning and rehearsing for the official inauguration of the Central Living Europa in the Palazzo Spinola on the 6th of the next month. At the full moon in November, we were in New York City, my mouth full of pain from major surgery, my, my head full of plans for our next play, Quality of Life Crimes. At the full moon in December, the moon of the winter solstice and the moon of the apogee, I underwent painful dentistry and then we played Mother Earth and Jupiter in Sylvie de Guise's comic Cosmic Legends at the kitchen in New York City. 2000, at the full moon in January, we watched the eclipse over the Ripa in Rochetta and then traveled to Bologna to perform Cain and Abel and Julian's Questions at the Archie Convenio in Chiesa San Lucia. At the full moon in February, we returned to Rochetta after a tour of Morty and Jane in nine cities from the Toe to the Alps. At the full moon in March, I played my last Mahdi at the Dusa in Bologna, while Hannon wrote choruses for Korach in the dressing room. Then we drove into the night back to Rochetta. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in the Palazzo Spinola in Rochetta Ligare with six living theater members and the participation of the mayor of Rochetta and 16 neighbors. At the full moon in May, we were preparing the resistance play in Rochetta Ligure. At the full moon in June, we went, we were in New York City, just back from Key West, 
where we attended each of Anna's wedding to John Appel and prepared a workshop for new actors in Not In My Name. At the full moon in July, our performance of Capital Changes was rained out in Levanto. At the full moon in August, we gather in the gorge at Petruzu for a meeting by the river with various entertainments. Some friends from the Territorio and Marsha Levy Warren and Diane visiting from New York and Boston. At the full moon in September, we were in Rome rehearsing a workshop on the theme of the new resistance at the Snia Viscosa. And Hannon prepares for a small role in Scorsese's Gangs of New York. At the full moon in October, we were in Rosetta rehearsing the resistance play. The full moon fell on Friday the 13th. I worked with Thomas Walker on the archive, and we listened, horrified, to war news from Israel. At full moon in November, we opened Resistenza at the Palazzo Espinola in Roqueta Liguri, with an audience of 200. That included many participants in the historic events and their daughters and sons and grandchildren. At the full moon in December, we were in New York City talking about politics and the contested election on Harold Channer's cable TV show. And in the night, attended the full moon celebration in the Avenue B Garden. 2001, at the full moon in January, we were in New York City preparing for resistance rehearsals in English. At the full moon in February, we were performing resistance in New York City at the Chashama Theater on 42nd Street and sending out feelers for a space to live and work. At the full moon in March, we were performing resistance in New York City at the Chashama Theater on 42nd Street to an audience that participated with vigor. And we saw a space on 5th Street that we would be happy to make our home and the home of the living theater. At the full moon in April, we missed our plane to Palermo and spent the day in travel delays. And then in the evening, we performed Love and Politics with Pietro Pirelli at the Leles Theater in Palermo. At the full moon in May, we performed Not in My Name in the occupied Terra di Nessuno in Genza and then flew on to Catania to perform Love and Politics with Pietro Pirelli. At the full moon in June, we were in Tripoli preparing 40 students from the University of Lebanon to perform Not In My Name in Arabic, in Tripoli and Beirut. And a play for the Khan prison site in the south called Stop the Torture. I celebrate my 75th birthday at Tripoli's House of Art, where they made me cut the cake with a symmetry. At the full moon in July, we were in Roqueta creating the G8 demonstration play, still to be titled The Hand and Calls Resistance 2. In the evening, we attend the last of the poetry festival readings at the Court Theater in Genova with Ed Sanders and Diane de Prima and Ray Menzarek. At the full moon in August, we were in Rome, taking refuge from the rats in the Rochetta. At the full moon in September, we visited the synagogue at Mondovi. At the full moon in October, we traveled to Livorno to conduct a mysteries workshop with 40 people, leading to a performance on Sunday the 7th, just as the United States began bombing Afghanistan. At the blue moon in October, we returned from Urbino, where there was an homage to Julian at the big Teatro Raffaello Sanzio to meet Natalia in Rome, visited Hanja in the afternoon, then met Natalia in the Campori Fiori under the full moon aback Giordano Bruno. I chat with Gianni Manzelli while Hannon talks business with Natalia amidst sword swallowers and kids in witches' hats. 
Then we drove till 3 a.m. to Roqueta. At the full moon in November, we arrived in Roqueta in early hours from Rome, where we celebrated Halloween in the Campo dei Fiori. At the blue moon in November, we arrived in Paris from New York to show our documentary at Académie Experimentale and to talk on the aesthetics of resistance. At the full moon in December, I was in New York rehearsing Kafka's The Castle and preparing for tomorrow's New York, New York's Eve party to usher in the last palindromic year of our time. 2002, at the full moon in January, we were rehearsing Resist for street performances during the protests against the World Economic Forum the coming weekend. At the full moon in February, we were in New York City looking at 330 East 8th Street as a possible site for theater and home, then drove to Danbury, Connecticut to attend the funeral of Rabbi Jerome Molina, my cousin who performed the wedding ceremony for me and Julian. At the full moon in March, we were in Roqueta, celebrating the Seder with 21 people. Hannon and I were the only Jews. At the full moon in April, we were touring the Provincia of Alessandria with resistance. Seven cities in nine days. Valenza, Cantapalupo, Ovada, Costa Vescovado, Aqui Termo, Seravala, and Alessandria. At the full moon in May, we were in New York to our interview with New York State Council of the Arts, staying to do three Not In My Name performances, a poetry reading at the Pink Pony, spending time with Garrick at the Metropolitan Tapestry Exhibit, and apartment prospects, dining with Andrea and John, and with Karen and George, attending Lucas Rockhouse's Bar Mitzvah in the Avenue B Garden and attending Hannon's Yale reunion of Class 72, among many other activities. At the full moon in June, we were in Roqueta, where I was working on the Piscata book, while Hannon worked on the Joseph script. We went to Genoa to see the Motus in twin rooms, and the Alfieri, in Ginestra Portella, Luciano Natino's play about the Sicilian bandit Giuliano. At the full moon in July, we were in Casa Fluminense conducting a day in the life of the city workshop with 22 people and fell ill with an attack of temporary ischemia. My left side numb my mouth unable, and I went to the hospital in Mola. At the full moon in August, we were in Roqueta, working on the Joseph script and the Piscator book, and planning new plays, perhaps Italian sketches or Wagner's Ring. At the full moon in September, we performed the workshop play Dabio, which we are touring to four towns in the atrium of the Palazzo Spinola, followed by a performance of the Mysteries in the Sala Nobile. At the full moon in October, we were in Roqueta, having just finished a 10-day run of resistance in Genova at San Benedetto a Porto, and preparing for a trip to Aix in Provence for the Technoethics Conference, and then to New York, all in one week. At the full moon in November, we were in New York, where we went to see a site on 49th Street between 9th and 10th Avenues, now just a pile of bricks and rubble, on which we have hopes to build home and a theater. Then to St. Mark's to hear Nina Svantevic read her poems. At the full moon in December, we were making plans for the 49th Street space with Jacob Kane, the architect, and preparing for our new play, perhaps on the theme of water. 2003, at the full moon in January, Isha and John were visiting us in New York. I was recovering from my dental ordeal and preparing for my medical ordeal, but all our hopes were for the 49th Street space. 
at the full moon in February, we were thawing out from yesterday's big anti-war demonstration with half a million people in the freezing wind. In the evening, we went to hear Frederick Shevsky play the final section of his long piece, The Road, just as the blizzard arrived. At the full moon in March, we returned from New York to Italy, arriving in Venice, flying to Milan, and meeting Marinella in Varese, where we viewed her exhibit of light and shadow, and then continued to Rocchetta, where we settled under the shadow of an eviction notice and raging news about the brink of war. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in three languages in Rocchetta Ligare, with 16 celebrants, including Henry Abramovitz's family of four direct from Jerusalem, and Pietro Pirelli, and two of his friends, and two Rocchettini. At the full moon in May, we were in New York, planning the 49th Street Theater with Jacob Kane and Vanilla, in preparation for signing the contract in Chaim Joseph's office, making official and legal our possessions of our home and theater to be. At the full moon in June, we were in Rochetta, rehearsing Enigmas, a new play based on ideas and notes left behind by Julian Beck. At the full moon in July, we were in Napoli performing Love and Politics with Alvan Curran on the roof of the Castle San Elmo during the big exhibition of the Living Theatre and Julian Beck called Labyrinthi, the Imaginario. At the full moon in August, we went up to Roccaforte for the Campo Carlo Festival to attend Marc Pujol's Cafacali performance and a Camille dell'arte performance and to Aosta to attend Pietro Pirelli's four-hour concert of his music for Abel Gantz's film, La Rue. At the full moon in September, we were finishing the Enigmas rehearsals in Rochetta for Neapoli and preparing to go to New York City after two weeks in Neapoli and one day in Bruxelles and to leave Rochetta for a while, for forever, at the full moon in October, we're back in New York in the whirl of its activities. Today, John Title's presentation and his, of his memoir at the National Arts Club and then a tribute to Kenneth Koch at Columbia. Yesterday, a full day of events about avant-garde theater honoring Mark Amiton and tomorrow to participate in a documentary about MC Richards while our hearts are towards the theater space rising out of the ground at 49th Street. At the eclipse of the new moon in November, we were in New York preparing the theater. And at the hour of the eclipse, we went up to the roof garden of our base camp to see the moon turn red, while Stephen Ben Israel recited Mary Shelley's monologue of the creature's encounter with the full moon in Frankenstein. At the full moon in December, we were in New York City preparing in the morning, Jonathan Lee comes to talk to me about Paul Goodman, whose life he's writing about, but whom he's never met. At lunch, David Perella comes and talks to us about his strife between the social sector and the private sector. In the evening, Baba and Steve Israel and Dawn come to talk about programming events at the theater. 2004. At the full moon in January, I was rehearsing Rania Jani's catalog film, and we attended a book party for Elisa and Tony Kushner's Wrestling with Zion at the New Jewish Community Center, where Tony Kushner promised us a new play for the Living Theater. At the full moon in February, we were preparing in New York City. Vanilla brought the archive up to date. I worked with Hannon on Enigmas. And in the evening, Alec Harrington came and told us of his desire to stage the Greeks. At the full moon in March, I finished working on the directing book for Enigmas, and in the evening, we went with Michael McClure and Amy to the Medicine Theater, where we heard a reading of Victims. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at B. La Rose in New York City with 85 Living Theater members and friends 
including Garrick and Robin, and many second-generation living theater people. A sweet time was had by all, but I spoke of Fallujah. At the full moon in May, we met with Robert Zuckerman of the New York State Council of the Arts, who advised us on funding. And in the evening, we attended the concert of Ned Roram's Complete Organ Works, performed by Gregory D'Agostino on the great Aeolian Skinner organ at Riverside Church. At the full moon in June, we visit just a theater space preparing to open in December, though there's still three inches of water on the playing space floor. We prepare the Enigmas directing book and we prepare for a party in the public plaza of the Worldwide Plaza for my 78th birthday tomorrow. At the full moon in July, we were working on the theater plans, wrestling with the zoning laws, and attended the actor's temple service in our new neighborhood synagogue. At the blue moon in July, we attended the wedding of Baba Israel and John Crandall and St. Mark's in the Bowery and we viewed a screening of Marco Page's film about Amon Hennessy. Amon Hennessy and other angelic, angelic troublemakers at the Catholic Workers' Mary House on East 3rd Street. At the full moon in August, New York City erupts in a great burst of street theater protesting in Republican National Convention and celebrating a new world. The Living Theater participated with a spectacle called Code Orange Exaltations, performed with 20 workshop participants in the midst of 500,000 demonstrators several times, including performances in front of Madison Square Garden and in Central Park on the Forbidden Great Lawn. At the full moon in September, we were in Jerusalem invited by the ACA Festival to speak at their theater conference. And we did a scene from Antigone. We lived with the Abramovich family and ate under the full moon in their Sukkot. I was amazed at the Western Wall. At the full moon in October, we were in Dusseldorf in Germany with the whole company preparing our street play workshop. Steve Israel also performed his latest work, first time in Europe, and Baba did his astonishing sound workshop called Beatboxing. At the full moon in November, we were in Caen performing Love and Politics in Hannonville at the huge art center where there is a great exhibit of contemporary art, though not one of our best performances. At the full moon in December, we were in New York, impatiently awaiting a date for the opening of the Living Theater on 49th Street. 2005, at the full moon in January, we were in NYC, struggling with the law's delay, working on our books, Hannon on 3rd Street, I on Piscotter. Reina Johnny comes to invite us to work on her film, My Eyes Through Carnage, which she hopes to make in Libya. At the full moon in February, we were in New York City preparing for the new theater with Art NY, and we visited the Clayton Patterson Art Gallery where Mary Beach's portrait of Julian Beck stared out at us. At the full moon in March, it was Purim, and we went to the Orchid Show at the New York Botanical Gardens. Aaron Kahn and Ira Murfin visited to talk of new projects. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at George and Karen's with Garrick and Robin and Amber and Alyssa and Martha. At the full moon in May, we attended FEVA Federation of East Village Artist Festival, honoring the counterculture heroes, Ginsberg, Ellen Stewart, Tuli, Copperberg, and Jonas Mikas in a palatial temple of money on the Bowery that used to be the dime-saving bank and is now called Capital. At the full moon in June, we were in Hillsdale at Marshall Levy Warren's house, working on Joseph and Piscotter. 
when Richard Astor called about casting for The Sopranos and changed our plans. At the full moon in July, we were in New York's heat wave, struggling with Haim Joseph and the lounges for the theater, and writing about the influence of Peace Goddard on the living theaters, Capitol's changes, Resistanza, A Dream of Water, Enigmas, and Not In My Name. At the full moon in August, we were in New York, waiting eagerly for news of the theater, working on the Piscotter book, and Hannon gathering poetry on the internet for a piece about refugees for the Volterra event in October. At the full moon in September, I was in Rutherford, New Jersey, to celebrate William Carlos Williams' birthday at an all-day event with scholars and writers, and I introduced the staging of A Dream of Love, while Hannon attended a wedding of Anna Levi Warren in Stockton Bridge, Massachusetts. At the full moon in October, we were in Italy, traveling between La Spezia, where we performed love and politics, to Casino, where we talked and read poems before and after screenings of Resist. At the full moon in November, we were in New York, despairing of the 49th Street Theater. Hannon made the bid for a site on Ludlow and Grand Street to the agent Zipporo Wexler and the owner Bernard Kahn, with high hopes once again. And in the evening, we attended a celebration of Carl Bessinger's work at West Beth. At the full moon in December, we were in Torino, performing a five-day workshop, Day in the Life of the City, on the Via Roma. 2006. At the full moon in January, we were in Rome, staying at Susan and Alvin's, preparing for our performance of Refugee Blues at the Matatoya. At the full moon in February, there was a blizzard in New York, and we had to cancel our performance of Love and Politics at Macor. At the full moon in March, we played the Prince and Princess Himalay at La Mama in Zaishan Agurlu's production of Gumberwitch's Operetta, followed by a performance of Love and Politics with Sylvie and Wayne at Macor, attended by all of our friends. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder at Hannon's brother's house in Newport Beach, California, with T and Eric and Joyce and Andre, and with Diane and Jerome Rothenberg, who read his opening scene of Poland 31 in Yiddish and English and Ginsburg Mala. And on the next night, still under the full moon, we performed Love and Politics in San Diego at the Electric Lodge. At the full moon in May, we played Love and Politics in Chiasso in Switzerland with Balbetta, Balbet Missoni playing Pietro Pirelli's music on the viola. While in the afternoon, we con conducted our day in the life of the city for the next day's performance in the Municipal Plaza. At the full moon in June, we traveled from Berlin to Italy after a triumphant evening at the Academy der Künste, shouting, showing the Resist film and celebrating my 80th birthday with enthusiastic full house. At the full moon in July, we flew from New York City to Milan to begin another four-week tour in, to include a performance of Refugee Blues in Torino and getting the Pamira Prize for Peace from Nanda Pivano in Porto Veneri, a five-day mysteries workshop in Udine, a love and politics performance in Massa at the Castillo Malaspina, and another at Bassano, a poetry event in the marble quarries of Massa Carrara, where we spoke with the anarchist of Murray Bookchain's death, a love and politics performance in Abruzzo, and Cancelli Price at Cancelli. At the full moon of August, we flew from Malpensa 
to New York City full of plans and hopes for the new theater. At the full moon in September, Hannon went into the Lenox Hill Hospital, his heart not beating in the proper rhythm, called cardiac arrhythmia, and the doctors are hopeful that it isn't too serious. At the full moon in October, we showed the Rothenbergs our Clinton Street space with Gary Brackett, Tom Walker, Jerry Goralnik, Lois, Carlo, Altmer, Martin Rockus, and Claire Leibowitz already there. In the evening, we attended the Robert Kennedy Memorial Speak Truth to Power with 800 people on Pier 60, where we, were, where we greeted Janet and Martin Sheen and shook pre hands with President Clinton. At the full moon in November, we were in New York. Hannon was a bed with pain after being struck down by a motorcycle on Columbus Avenue on the way to pick me up from trying to get an appointment for radiation therapy at Columbus Hospital. I finished the B. Arthur section of the Piscator book, which is now on its way to a publisher, possibly Richard Schechner through Cindy Rosenthal. We watched the running of the New York City Marathon. At the full moon in December, we were waiting for the theater to be finished, waiting for the Clinton Street apartment to be available, waiting for radiation treatments to begin, waiting to start rehearsals for the brig. 2007, at the full moon in January, I underwent my 14th radiation treatment and worked all day on the brig directing book and prepared for the visit of Eden, Keith, and Sasha tomorrow. At the full moon in February, I took my 27th radiation treatment, then rehearsed the brig with a full run-through in the La Mama rehearsal studio, after which we went to Clinton Street with Marco Rotelli, planning the decoration of the stairwell, then had dinner at Punch and Judy's with Marco, Gary, and Federica, who invites us to her festival at Mantova. At the full moon in March, we were rehearsing the brig and Gary reworked the set brilliantly, lining up the 10 beds symmetrically and adding a gravel groundwork outside the compound. It was Purim and we heard the Megala at the Hassam Sofer Synagogue across the street. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder, the first social event in our new theater with hundreds of old friends and a beautiful ceremony. At the full moon in May, it was May Day, and we went to the Century Club to talk with Jorge Judson, and I had a photo session for a New York Times story. In the evening, there was a musical program on the life of Emma Goldman. On the blue moon in May, it was Julian's birthday. I got a degree of a Doctor of Fine Arts in Honoris Causa. Back at the theater, we were training nine new maggots from a casting call before a performance of The Brig. On the full moon in May, on the full moon in June, I was studying my lines for the dress rehearsal of La Guerra del Pleno. Nanda Pivano's play with texts by Fabiola de Andre, which opened at the Palazzo de la Mantua in the presence of Fernando Pivano. Meanwhile, the rest of the company is returning to New York from Poland, where they perform the mysteries and the brig played in New York, making this three cities a day. At the full moon in July, we were in New York playing the brig and rehearsing Marty and Jane and trembling with fear that the money won't hold out. At the full moon in August, we were in New York City rehearsing Marty and Jane devised from the novel The Diary of Jane Somers by Doris Lessing, which I've played in Italian for many years now, followed by a company meeting at which we discussed Eureka. At the full moon in September, we were in New York City performing at least four brig performances 
performing the last four break performances of a 110 show run, preparing rehearsals for Modi and Jane in Eureka. At the full moon in October, we were in New York City performing the mysteries, and Garrick is in the city helping us work on the archive and sales of the fancy jewelry. At the full moon in November, we were in Benevento, Italy, called the City of Writers, showing the Resist film after performing Love and Politics, and I was given a prize as the great writer of contemporary theater. At the full moon in December, we were in New York City performing Maudie and Jane, the seventh performance, and celebrating Hanukkah with Tamron. 2008. At the full moon in January, I rehearsed Maudie and Jane with Monica Hunkin as Jane to replace Pat Russell, who believed she was going to China, but her engagement was canceled on account of the huge snowstorms, and Monica was cast. Pat says, Pat says it's a sorrow to her. Monica improvises with each rehearsal. The goodies, Foxy and Romy, select photos for their magazine story about me. At the lunar eclipse of the full moon in February, we performed Morty and Jane, and Hannon was working with me on editing, preparing the preliminary manuscript for the Piscotter book. At the full moon in March, we slipped away to Atlantic City to escape the pressures of the theater, the finances, the rehearsals, and we walked on the beach and were happy. At the full moon in April, we were sad at the Seder, celebrating it without Hannon, who was at Mount Sinai Hospital struck down by a stroke. At the full moon in May, we were in mourning for Hannon, who died on the 3rd of the May, leaving us desolate. At the full moon in June, we were struggling to keep the theater going without Hannon and to keep ourselves from despair. At the full moon in July, Garrick was in New York to comfort me and to help with the organization of the theater, but it's too sad. At the full moon in August, we were rehearsing Eureka working on the biomechanics of the hydrogen dance and the spins of the elements. At the full moon in September, we were in the midst of Eureka rehearsals and began working on casting the connection. At the full moon in October, Garrick was in New York, helping with the organizational financial dilemmas of the living theater. In the evening, there are two events. The Anarchist Libertarian Book Club meets upstairs in the apartment and Vincent Katz's poetry reading in the theater with 31 people attending, and Philip Maronovich and Louis Warsh as the readers. At the full moon in November, Adriana Figueiredo and her daughter Mariana from Rio came to video me for her Brazilian documentary. Then I have a terrible coughing fit and panic attack. In the evening, I see the spark plugs perform and watch Shima's McMally's film and attend Mossa Bildner's concert. At the full moon in December, we were rehearsing the connection for a New Year's Eve opening. 2009, at the full moon in January, we performed a matinee of the connection and Alex Goldblum and I worked on foundation grants, reading a proposal for the Copani Foundation. At the full moon in February, we were planning the future. The Connection had only five more performances, though we are hoping to bring it back. The touring company of The Brig begins rehearsals with Gary Brackett and Ken Brown. I begin to work on Ann Waldman's Red Noir. At the full moon in March, I continued to fight being sick with a heavy cough and working on grants and Red Noir and fighting depression. At the full moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in the theater with 80 people after a trying day with police over Bamboo Suicide Theater. At the full moon in May, we were preparing to go to Montreal's Anarchist Book Fair with a collection of scenes which is titled The Beautiful Nonviolent Anarchist Revolution Play, ending with marching, free flow, and stop the war. At the full moon in June, I was preparing the text for Red Noir 
and rose up on Fraunheim, did a film interview with me, and two piece nieces, Elena Weigel. At the full moon in July, we watched Michael Jackson's memorial extravagance on television and I continued preparing Red Noir. At the full red moon in August, we went with Garrick to the Castillo, where there was a screening of Nothing Really Happens. Then we spent the evening with Garrick making many plans. At the full harvest moon in September, we attended the Shiva from Marsha's father, where we met her granddaughter Amora, and where Jerry Mayer gave us $10,000 for our fundraising campaign. At the full dying grass moon in October, I finished the script for Red Noir, still without casting a glamorous woman detective. We meet 30 actors for the ensemble. At the full frost moon in November, we were deep into Red Noir rehearsals. Today, Anne Waldman attended rehearsal and wrote new texts for Crystal, faster than we could insert them. We rehearsed the dance with Sheila and Jima. At the cold full moon in December, we had our 40th rehearsal of Red Noir, five days before the preview at which the New York Times threatens to come, and eight days before our opening, adding lights and films. At the blue moon in December, we performed Red Noir to a full house, followed by a grand New Year's Eve party with Tamron and Mariba and a theater full of friends. 2010, at the full old moon in January, Anthony Sisko played his last performance of Jelly in Red Noir to a full house. Afterwards, there was a farewell party for him that lasted until the wee hours. At the full hunger moon in February, we ended the run of Red Noir after 44 performances with a full house and a closing party and a toast to the next play. At the full sugar moon in March, we celebrated the Seder in the theater with a hundred people and Garrick and Tamaron. At the full grass moon in April, I was working on Korah, on the murmurings of the Hebrews against Moses. At the full moon flower moon, in May, it was already the second year after Hannon's death, and Michael Pasnick and I said a telephone kaddish for Hannon on the telephone together. We had been through a month of distress with the landlord and were planning an exit strategy when we resolved our immediate problem with Ali and did a benefit a performance of Red Noir at the Players Club with Isha and John present. At the hot full moon in June, I was working day and night on the Korok script while Brad is in misery because Yasmin told him last night that she was seeing somebody else. At the full thunder moon in July, I was sad because Garrett just left and won't be back till October, November. I worked on casting Korog and wrote thank you letters for $300 donations and talked to Jay Dupkin about the role of Aaron. At the full moon, at the full red moon in August, we put our of further Korog rehearsals till September and work on the X Halton funding grant proposal. At the full harvest moon in September, it was Hannon's 60th birthday. We had just had our first Korak rehearsal with Carlos teaching Biomech, and we had some hopes for staying in our theater through the Alan Butchman Culture Project and, Cast and the Castillo Benefit. At the full grass moon in October, we were rehearsing Korak, the trudges and the murmurings. At the full beaver moon in November, we were finishing the Korak rehearsals, working with Carlo Automare on the finale and with the new shovels, and in the evening and the night trying to find the right poster for the film of Macno. At the full cold moon in December, it was the solstice and a lunar eclipse and the living benefit at the Players Club. 2011, 
at the full old moon in January, I was fighting the winter depression. Ilian returned from Brazil, and we talked about how to do the seven meditations now that the parrot's perch is no longer in use. We performed Korak without the usual film projectors. Carlo worked in his theater lab projector to keep the films going. At the full snow moon in February, we performed the 41st performance of Korach and afterwards rehearsed the torture scene of seven meditations on political sadomasochism with Martin Munoz and Tamaran Josbeck as the victims. At the full worm moon in March, France and the United States began bombing Libya. David Kovesky interviewed me for his opera on Jimmy Spicer, and I sent my third Twitter. At the full pink moon in April, we celebrated the Seder in the front room of the apartment. Since the theater was rented out, it was a good Seder. At the full flower moon in May, it was Garrett's 62nd birthday. Brad and Tom and I traveled from Oslo in Norway to Paris in France to do workshops and workshop performances with Norwegians and Parisians. On the full rose moon in June, we finished our New York rehearsals with the Modus Group and Sylvia Cardelloni and set to work on the history of the world. On the foot hay moon in July, we were back in New York City after performing The Plot is the Revolution with the Modus Group in Santa Cangelo, working on the history of the world and in the evening attended a two and a half hours production of Brecht's Live of Galileo at Fordham University with Soraya Brookin. At the full green corn moon in August, I worked all day on the mailing list while Brad's family, father, mother, sister, brother, came to take him on an excursion to Governor's Island. At the harvest moon in September, we worked on preparations for history of the world, and we made out a schedule for our two weekend film festival, and prepared, and prepared, and prepared. At the corn planting moon in October, I worked on finding texts for the Piscator book, and we began rehearsals for the history of the world with the audience and counter scenes. At the full beaver moon in November, I was sick with my emphysema cough. Nevertheless, I continued pre-blocking the history of the world. Meanwhile, Tom and Brad were in Ouro Preto rehearsing the Brazil play. At the full long night's moon in December, we were rehearsing the history of the world, working on the troubadour and on Monica Hunkin's flying dance as Amelia Earhart. 2012, at the full wolf moon in January, Silvia Calderoni and I performed The Plot is the Revolution at the La Mama Theater with great success. At the full hunger moon in February, I studied images of my hometown, Kiel, and I read my father's book, Deutsche Juden in New York. At the full sugar moon in March, I was in New York City trying to sort out my collections and papers. At the full sprouting grass moon in April, we celebrated the Seder with 35 people. I coughed so hard, I had to leave the Seder at mealtime. Karen came up to comfort me and then went downstairs and fainted after the Seder. At the full milk moon in May, I suffered from a worsening of my cough and wound barely work on assemb assembling my final notes for the text of the Piscotter book. At the full moon in June, I celebrated my 86th birthday with a party that turned into a memorial event for Stephen Ben Israel, who died this morning. At the full buck moon in July, I'm weak abed. Elian comes to keep me company. A Renee McLean drops in for half an hour to say hello. Garrick and Tamaran call to say they are on their way to the gathering. 
At the full red moon in August, I wrote an afterword for my 1947 to 57 diaries for a republishing by Rotledge, and I wrote a few sad poems about the end of life. At the blue moon in August, I was a quick sick all day, coughing and choking, a little better in the evening. At the full barley moon in September, we were rehearsing Here We Are, and in the evening we celebrated the 65th anniversary of the Living Theatre at the grand dinner for 45 people, hosted by Al Pacino at the home of Henry Jeckery. At the full frost moon in October, I had lunch with Garrick as the storm clouds gathered, and in the evening the big storm, Sandy, broke, and we were without light and electricity. At the full beaver moon in November, we were rehearsing Here We Are, blocking out the Barcelona scene with Jay Dobkin as our friend Sam Dolgoff, explaining the Spanish anarchist collective with biomechanical actions that lead into the flamenco dance. At the full cold moon in December, we signed the termination lease also for Crinton Street. There was an interview with Claire Leibovitz. We rehearsed a run-through of Here We Are and then celebrated the Shabbos. 2013, at the full old moon in January, I sorted papers and clothes in with Leia in preparation for leaving Clinton Street. We did the 11th performance of Here We Are without a lightboard man, but got through the play well enough. At the full sugar moon in March, we were performing Here We Are at the Clemente Center on the Lower East Side for four performances after closing the Living Theater on Clinton Street, and I was living at the Lillian Booth Actors Home in Englewood, New Jersey. At the full sprouting grass moon in April, I lived in Englewood at the Actors Home where we projected Ali's Love and Politics film and observed the deer in the garden. At the full milk moon in May, Dennis, Nick, and Nitza went to the Lower East Side Festival at the Theater for the New City and chanted for the beautiful, non-violent, anarchist revolution. At the full strawberry moon in June, I was writing letters at my desk in Englewood, desperate to get out of New Jersey. At the full thunder moon in July, Leia and I sorted and filed the European archive till 3.30 in the morning. At the full red moon in August, I saw Gone with the Wind on television. At the full barley moon in September, I went to the hospital in Englewood with 102 degrees fever and pneumonia. Piero Baino visits me there. At the full travel moon in October, we celebrated Shabbos with Joseph and Joe. At the full frosty moon in November, I was in Englewood, interviewed by David Evartik about Woody Allen, and I, I argued with Joseph about watching television. At the full long night moon in December, I was having a difficult time in Englewood, imagining I could get out of the actor's home where only Joseph comes to visit me and some nights drives me to NYC. 2014, at the cold full moon in January, Tom, comes early in the day to proofread and correct the full moon poem which Dennis has typed up. Joseph comes to take me to a drive through Brooklyn, which he loves and calls his motherland. At the full snow moon in February, it was St. Valentine's Day, which I used to celebrate with Julian, though we hardly celebrated any other day. A huge snowstorm kept spirits down and guests away. At the full moon in March, Garrick took me to New York to watch Theodora Skipitari's rehearsal of Ionesco's The Chairs, his chaperone I pretend to be. At the full moon in April, I still lived in the actor's home in Englewood, New Jersey, and am not happy here. At the full moon in May, 
I was put downstairs in the nursing home to my great distress for what they call rehab. At the full moon in June, I was still in the nursing home, though they kept promising me to return to my room. I watched the news about the brink of war between Israel and Palestine and the thousands of children who are endangering their lives, trying to find a better life. At the full moon in July, all my friends are trying to get me out of the nursing home, where I have been all told I can never go back to my old room and where I can't telephone and can go out into the garden. Thank you very much for those of you who stayed. The full moon poem continues.